and also the question is too, do you notice a difference between just the bowl and when the, the vocals are added? exactly how I feel every Wednesday is this is very familiar and I've been here before mm -hmm. but not in this life okay. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. we're all I don't know mm -hmm. but that's the connection I felt with you every Wednesday because like we haven't even really even mm -hmm. met but that's exactly how I feel every Wednesday thank you, mm -hmm. I'm here. Thank you. did anybody else want to share their well, I agree with everything that's being said, but um, I think a byproduct of all that is I feel like it connects all of our hearts that are in the room. <coughs> and I I love it when you when you guys um, when you, when you're tuning into what I'm experiencing too, because what I see is I see this little thread with this golden light that goes through everybody's heart.
stepping into March, it's an eight energy, and it's about your passion, your power, prosperity, and uh, today's 3-3, three, three, powerful day, and uh, tomorrow another really big day, but uh, it today is like a, an alignment, uh, 11 energy, so it's another portal, and what all these energies are doing, uh, they're asking us to get really clear on our purpose, our over, over goal. Who are we really? Like, we've had to kind of surrender our pasts and, you know, who we were, the work we've done before. And last month, we really revisited that and, and that surrender. And I've known a lot of people that have really struggled because their identity was what they did. You know, that's who they were. Now, they don't have that anymore. You know, it, it's a weird feeling. Some people are feeling lost, you know, in that surrender. It, it can feel uh, a little scary, a little nerve-wracking. But as the energies are supporting us, to step into that bigger vision, the bigger over goal of who we really are, why we're here. You know, take the things that we learned here and use it every day, not just, you know, in class when we practice or, you know, every once in a while, you know, we read our papers, but it's having that presence, present moment presence on who we are and how beautiful that is. And the energy just is asking us to dream big, bigger than we've ever dreamed. Like, it's a moment of beauty and joy and find your real passion. What lights you up? What brings that passion and hold that? You know, we're, we're all opening up our hearts and, you know, coming to class has really helped us notice the difference of the heart opening. So with that opening, we're redefining ourselves. And sometimes our passions have changed. I know the things that I used to get really excited about don't light me up anymore. Like I, I'm totally new, I'm different, so I'm on a rediscovery path. Like, I just surrendered all the old and said, what doesn't serve me, we'll let that go. You know, and, and I'll stand in my truth, whatever that is. And it's been quite an adventure, I have to tell you. You know, it's just every day is a new step, a new discovery, but the energies are aligning us and supporting us in that. And uh, I feel like uh, coming to our, our new moon on the 13th, which is going to be another beautiful divine feminine experience, you know, just that strengthening the power of femininity. Uh, we're asked to bring our visions, our quest, our over goal, bring that clear and concise so that we can put the power and the passion to it. And when you stand there, that's, that's when we are in prosperity. You know, we hold that beautiful energy of gratitude for everything. Like we see beauty in chopping vegetables and, you know, just cleaning up, you know, making things look nice. You know, every moment becomes a beautiful experience. Uh, you know, it, it's the perspective shift. And when you live in that perspective and with the gratitude, you know, you can go out in the garden and just feel the beauty of Mother Earth and, you know, watch the flowers grow and, you know, just feel that energy. It's like such a beautiful blessing. And we're so lucky here because spring comes early. So we've got a spring cleaning energy that's coming um, in an alignment. Uh, early in March also, but you know, we've already got that energy here. We're watching the buds Wait. blossom Wait. and bloom, you know, and, you know, our neighbors across the states are still in snow, you know, so, so I think we're really specially blessed here that, you know, we get to start that energy
energy early and start holding it, you know, and moving that energy for others. So, um, I, what I'd like to do is just kind of check in with everybody, and we have Scott back from his big adventure, so uh, <laughs> I'd like to open up the floor to you to share with us. I know you've got something to share. So. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we had an uh, uh, interesting experience. We went to Cancun, Mexico, and did uh, meditating anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day. And uh, it was uh, very enlightening, to say the least, and uh, a very good group of people. Uh, we you know, as you know, it was with Joe Dispenza, who teaches a lot of the neurologic science and all of the data behind that science. And you know, sometimes I, I used to be Mr. Science Guy, and I'm not that anymore because uh, I've moved on out of science into the mysticism. And you know, he tries to keep it in mysticism, but he also keeps it a lot in the science. And uh, the only reason he uses the science is to prove it to all the science people. And so, you know, me, I, I get bored with the science now. Because <laughs> I know that science shifts with the consciousness, but truth never shifts with consciousness. And the truth is, we are divine beings, we are the gods. We are the creators, and we create through meditation, prayer, and contemplation. And so when we're in the state of meditation, we're connected to God. And we, we receive information. And it's interesting because we receive it in different ways. Uh, all of it is energy. All of it is important. Uh, some is total pure love, some is just knowledge of eternal truth. And so uh, one of the things that's fascinating about the, the gist of it is it's important we get in meditative states because, uh, you know, there's only about 10% of the population that will meditate every day. And we need to get that up to at least more than half of us in order to cause a uh, conscious shift in everyone. Now, meditation will calm down energies. It will bring peace. It will bring safety. It reduces crime, reduces murder, it reduces negative things. But in order for us to totally get into the shift of consciousness, we need to get at least 51% of us there. You know, and it's the same in the St. Germain teachings. We get 51% of us in alignment with the divine. They'll pull us the rest of the way, which is amazingly good for us. Because humans, you know, in this duality, 50% of the time we're in negative, 50% of the time we're in positive and so we've got to get just that little bit more into the positive so uh, my feeling is you know to advocate meditation advocate uh, forgiveness advocate hope on upon you know all these things that will bring about that shift in our consciousness and help with the shift in other people's consciousness and so the more people we get uh, meditating, praying, doing Ho'oponopono, uh, contemplating, you know, just being in alignment with universal truths, the better off humanity's gonna be. So, any questions? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's real. And it's more real, you know, when you get meditating a lot, you go into those realms where it's more real than this realm. 
And truthfully, duality is the roughest place we have to learn a bunch of lessons. And when we get beyond that, we don't have any more lessons, which is a peaceful way to be. Uh, because the lessons can sometimes be kind of hard and harsh. And so when we move into the love consciousness, our lessons become easier, our lives become easier and more peaceful. So just know we got to move into that love consciousness. <laughs> still feel that I'm, it's still processing because even the, the foods 